St. Mary's had always been a parish that feels like a family, and Margaret was a respected member of this family. Unquote. These are the words of Maxine and Jane, our parishioners. Today, I wish St. Mary, Mother of God Parish, have more Margarets, more Margaret Johnsons. We need such, such persons. I was also going through her own words. And she says, when I am gone, release me. Let me go. I have so many things to see and do. You must not tie yourself to me with too many tears, but be thankful we have had so many good years. I gave you my love, and you can only guess how much you have given me in happiness. I thank you for the love that you have shown, but now it is time I traveled on alone. So grieve for me a while, if grieve you must. Then let your grief be comforted by trust. It is only for a while that we must part. So treasure the memories within your heart. I won't be far away, for life goes on. If you need me, call and I will come. Though you can't see or touch me, I will be near. And if you listen with your heart, you will hear all my love around you, soft and clear. And then, when you come this way alone, I will greet you with a smile and a, and a welcome home. By going through this, definitely we could think the blessed way of life she has lived. Blessedness is our Christian call. If we could respond to our faith this way, all of us will be blessed.
with faith and hope in the resurrection, we turn to God, our eternal Heavenly Father, with the petitions and prayers of our hearts. In all the joys and sufferings of Margaret's life, she always remained steadfast in her faith that we may all imitate Margaret's confidence and trust in our Lord and Savior. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. As Margaret always radiated the love of Christ in her life to everyone she met, may we model her warmth and unconditional acceptance toward all in our own lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Margaret lived the life of God, gave to her fullest, enjoying as many moments as she could with friends and family. That we may model Margaret's gift of presence with the loved ones in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Margaret was always generous with those in need and everyone she met, that we may honor Margaret's memory with the gift of generosity toward all those in need who cross our paths. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That in the days and months of he ahead, our tears may give way to joy as we remember with gratitude all the cherished memories we made with Margaret. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as we mourn the loss of Margaret, we may also remember that she believed in eternal life and that she was aiming for heaven and that we may also aim to see the Lord face to face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here today, all those who have passed over into the next life, that we may day, one day enjoy true citizenship in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions. Lord God, you alone know the depth of our loss. Help us in all the ways we need your assistance in the days ahead. Remind us that you will never leave or forsake us. In Jesus' name, we pray, amen. amen. Please be seated. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, help me stand, I am tired, I am weak, I am poor. Precious Lord, lead me home. 
when my way draws dear, precious Lord, linger near when my life is all most gone. Hear my cry, hear my call, hold my hand, lest I fall. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, lest I stand. When my way is all most gone Hear my cry, hear my call Hold me on, lest I fall Take my hand, a precious Lord Lead me on My way draws dear, praise Lord, linger near when my life is all most gone. On. Hear my cry, hear my call, hold my arm lest I fall. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me on. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, lest I stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am worn, through the storm, through the night, hold me on.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Margaret Johnson, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Kevin our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Margaret Johnson, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. 